So we're still at the Mobile Web West Africa event. Um, I'm here with uh, Bastian Gotter. Bastian is a co-founder of Iroko Partners, obviously. But um, Bastian, uh, there's something interesting that you guys are working on lately, and it's is it an investment investment arm of Iroko Partners, or is it a standalone uh, uh, venture uh, capital firm? Oh, like uh, it's it's standalone. Okay. It's completely outside funded. It's called uh, Spark. Spark.ng is the, the website. Uh, it was basically bound, it was born out of like some feeling of there was a lack of angel investing in Nigeria and there was a, a lack of understanding of entrepreneurship in Nigeria and how to build scalable revenue models for, for businesses. So we said, hey, you know what, we've done this before and particularly myself, I've invested in like Nigerian tech companies like uh, for the last three years, so I feel like I've got a certain understanding of what I'm looking for. So Spark is just an expression of that, and uh, it basically says, okay, I've got some money, let me develop some of my own concepts, let me invest in some of the concepts that are already in the market, and uh, build a, uh, it's, it's not really like a fund, it's more like a, a company that builds companies, owns shares in companies, and the whole thing is basically a a big bet on the Nigerian internet space over the next three, three to five years. Um, so that, that, that model actually looks like what Rocket Internet is doing in Germany. Is that right? Uh, Rocket Internet, like Rocket Internet, chooses a particular business model, like Hello Food or whatever Food Panda. I don't even know what it's called, and right. then duplicates it across the whole world. Okay. Uh, that that is fair because they get certain efficiencies on on that model, and they understand how it operates in each market, and they they, they, they can create a common infrastructure. Right. We think that the challenges in Nigeria are sometimes a lot more basic, like stuff like an entrepreneur, for him to get constant electricity and internet is, is a challenge. Yeah, for him to get payment infrastructure integrated is a challenge. We think there's a lot of synergies in our network because we faced all those problems. And uh, we have companies that focus on Nigerian internet, which are not duplicated anywhere else. They're literally trying to find local solutions to local problems. Uh, Rocket has much more the view like, I've got a concept, it's going to work in Vietnam just like it's going to work in Nigeria. Now I don't know if that's true, uh, but that's their model. We're just much more, we're in Nigeria, we're looking at the Nigerian market only, we have got a huge network of contacts in Nigeria, we've got a big infrastructure in Nigeria, and this is what we're trying to exploit, and this is where our synergies are. So that's what we're looking at. So it's not Rocket. No. The way it is, you, you have a syndicate of investors, or is it just um, you and um, Jason? So there, there's 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 uh, there's basically some initial investment, Jason myself uh, included, and uh, we're we're raising money for, for for more investment into Spark as a company, which uh, will there, then. Is there a particular um, figure to the fund? It's about two million dollars that we that we're raising. Like uh, the total fund though will then be about. It's not a fund. The company will have been capitalized with about two and a half million dollars at the end of that 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 raising of the money, and uh, it's literally trying to explore some of our own concepts just as much as investing in concepts that we like. So we've made uh, quite a few investments lately, and um, in in what we believe to be very exciting Nigerian tech companies, and we invite anybody who's got one. Yeah. Come and see us. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, let's, so let's talk about the companies that you've actually invested in. Okay. Uh, lately. Um, yeah. I do know one, two, or three. Okay. Um, or perhaps you can um, tell us about um, a few others. That, okay. That, 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 uh, I, I, I do know. I have a hint that mm -hmm. you that you've invested in hotels.com.ng. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Um, and. And a few of the companies like uh, drinks.com.ng, toilet.com.ng. So these are actually basically like niche uh, companies around different areas, different yep. verticals. Yep. Um, can you tell us a bit about other companies that you are um, in currently invested in? What's the portfolio like? What's the portfolio? So obviously you spoke to about hotels, you spoke about Toilet. Uh, we've got a company called bus.com.ng. Okay. which focuses on bus ticketing. Uh, we just launched that, I think, yesterday. Okay. So you can go to bus.com.ng, you can book any bus journey from Lagos to anywhere. Uh, we just have a promotion, we're integrated with the top 10 uh, operators, uh, and you get a thousand naira off, so keep, keep, keep booking bus tickets over bus.com.ng. 
it's it's an interesting ticketing company. Uh, we took inspiration from the Indian market, uh, where there's a company called Redbus.in, okay. which has grabbed that Indian bus market. In, t in its entirety, yeah, I think they power about 90% of the the bus operating uh, ticketing uh, in, India. in India. I think they they turn over about 65 million dollars. Again, bus 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 over here is a horribly inefficient and disorganized process. But in the end, there's a lot of companies in it, and a lot of companies make a lot of money, and they need to adapt to the new world of doing things, which is online ticketing. Why do you have a physical ticket? Why don't you have an SMS ticket? Uh, you just need to transfer. That uh, that uh, mechanism from purely showing up at the bus park to hey I can book something in advance yeah. and I might even guarantee myself a seat and uh, I might even can choose the seat I want to sit in right so you're offering a, a much more seamless experience than getting up at five in the morning showing up at the bus station at six waiting for two hours and and the bus is still not leaving right so so we think there's a huge potential for efficiencies in, in that in that market so we've got bus.com.ng um, we, we also have uh, some like a uh, dating website called christians.com. Yeah, it's mostly focused on the church as a natural place to meet people. Christian singles. Yeah. Christian singles, uh, we think in Nigeria is a very young generation and yeah. most people are trying to find find love in the next five to six years and before they get married. I think our age is about 18. Yeah. There's an awful lot of marriages to be made. and. We believe that there's no safe place for people to meet people. Like uh, you've got uh, like the rowdy type dating sites like Eskimi or, or something like that, uh, where it just doesn't feel safe to contact somebody. Right? We're just trying to find a place that is safe for people to meet. So we have a we have a Christian dating website which is purely organized around churches. So you will have to uh, name the church that you go to. Uh, there needs to be some form of verification, and that way we feel that people have a, have a better chance of finding the right person for them, uh, and, and that's what we've done. Yeah, that's that's, that's another company. There's a, all the companies can be seen at spark.ng. Uh, they're all on the website, so uh, you, there's links to all of them, so you can have a look. Absolutely. Thanks for talking to Techno today. No problem. Thank right. you. Thank you.